Hi guys, Dane here, and welcome to my June 2020 book haul. Uh, that's Biggie's Tale, you can currently see there. I got this one book in the post today, and that is A Private Function by Alan Bennett. So I believe that was turned into a movie, and I think the other things in here might be plays. Um, so it contains The Old Crowd, A Private Function, Prick Up Your Ears, 102 Boulevard, 102 Boulevard Houseman, and The Madness of King George. So, um, yeah, I'm looking forward to reading this one. Biggie, stop eating my sweets. They are my sweets. Oh good, they're upside down. He can't get to them. All right, uh, let me explain first that I run an eBay store where um, I'm selling a lot of my old books because I'm downsizing. I basically want to get rid of a lot of my possessions so it's easier for me to move and stuff. Uh, but at the same time, I've realized it's quite a nice little stream of income and I think I can make a profit in some cases. So for example, I bought these. These are 11 Ladybird books and uh, I think I paid £8.50 including postage and I could probably sell these for like two ninety nine each. Uh, obviously including postage there as well so uh, assuming they all sell I'll make uh, I'll make a few quid some of them as well like this is kind of the thing is that some of these are actually worth like eight nine quid like for example you might get a Goosebumps books job lot and uh, Monster Blood 4 for some reason is like crazy insane in fact I was talking about it in one of my vlogs recently saying oh no it's my secret because um, like I, I bid on that if it if I can get it for cheaper than a tenner I know I can sell it for 17 99 uh, at least because that's what I sold my first copy of it for and then that's what made me think hmm maybe I should look for bargain copies of it you know uh, so uh, you know like say if you you could pay you could pay 10 quid for 10 goosebumps books and if one of them is monster blood 4 you've already doubled your money pretty much um, so that's kind of the idea behind this but it's funny that I mentioned monster blood 4 because uh, my video that where I mentioned it hasn't even gone up and uh, I've been obviously keeping an eye on the listings and now even all of the cheaper versions have gone there's no copies of it in the UK the only copy you can get is if you spend 35 quid on one from the United States so you know and people want them because they're collectors I guess but yeah these arrived in the post today so these are all Ladybird books have a go uh, the Ladybird Keyworks reading scheme this is book 2b a Ladybird learning to read book telling the time this is by M.E. Gag NFU. That's a lot of letters. Fun at the Farm 4B, the Ladybird Keywords Reading Scheme. This goes together with the early one. Mr. Noah's Animals, the Monkeys and the Foxes, storyboard. Learning with Mother, the Ladybird Under 5 series, book 4. A Ladybird Fourth Picture Book. We have Tip plays Truant, which I think is like the only fiction one of these, really. Learning with traditional rhymes, dancing rhymes. Uh, here we have two that I'm really excited to get to. So a first Did You Know book. Ladybird's Words, Easy Readers book three. <laughs> and a third Did You Know book. The Ladybird Keywords, Easy Readers book five. And also, number f uh, 5A, Where We Go, the Ladybird Keywords Reading Scheme. So a lot of these go together in little series as well. So I'm keen to see what I make of these. So just the one book to, to mention today, and that is uh, A Million Little Pieces by James Frey. So this was an early birthday present. It's Blurred by Irving Welsh, and I know it's a non-fiction drug book. It's pretty much all I know. I think, um, I think I heard about it on BookTube, and it's been on my wish list for a while now. So um, it'll be good to get to this soon. And it's got an interesting looking layout as well. So, uh, oh. and they recommended it too, um, and they gave it to me, they said they read it too. So as some of you guys know, I have an eBay store, and uh, previously I was using it just to sort of downsize and sell a few of my old books, but um, I realized I can also make a profit on some of them as well. So there are certain books, for example, there's one, um, it's actually the last book in the Goosebumps series, I'm giving away my secrets here, but um, at least in the UK on eBay, it never really goes for less than a tenner. So like a tenner is like my limit really, if I can get it for a tenner. I've sold a copy of it for 17 quid and I bought another copy of it for eight quid recently. So it's a decentish profit on that. But And I got all these searches set up so I can keep an eye on stuff and then I can make some bids. So uh, hopefully get some stuff cheap. Like these four books, £5.19 including postage and they are Earth is Room Enough. I've already read this one. Uh, and then we have the Science Fictional Solar System edited by Isaac Asimov and some other people. Uh, we have Isaac Asimov by Jupiter and other stories, and Asimov Nightfall 2. So uh, these three, because I haven't read these three, I'm gonna go ahead and um, read all of these and then sell them, whereas this one, I am just gonna sell. And uh, yeah, I'm just looking here at my bidding, so I've got one of the bids on that. 
Goosebumps book. I've got a bid on some horrible histories book. Some somebody spelled horrible histories wrong. So this is what eleven of those books, and I'm currently at four pound for those. Uh, and I'll probably sell them for like two ninety nine each. And then obviously I pay postage and stuff. But I've got a bid on something I'm trying to win for cats and camera. Two days, seventeen hours left. Some Doctor Seuss books. I've been outbidded on some Agatha Christie, but not all. So yeah, I'm just sort of bidding on stuff here and there. Like here, 68 Penguin paperbacks. So I've just got bidding for £25 and free postage. If anyone else bids on it, I get outbid because that was the starting price. But I figure if I, if I can get that for 25 quid, I can make some money on it. So yeah, that's what I'm doing. So I've got these. And then I've got this, uh, Van West of the Past by Kenneth Thomas. I believe this is self-published. Uh... The Past is the first book in the Van West sci-fi series about an enforcer who lives in a dystopian Earth of the year 3000 and works for an authoritarian ruler called the Universal Council. Tasked with travelling through time to stop a renegade sect that seeks to change Earth's past, he, can, he comes to learn about his dark origins and his unique ability. Falling in love with the daughter of its leader, Mad Newton, I like that name, he returns to the present to face a difficult choice, whether or not to save her, and be part of the new beginning. So I'm actually quite impressed by the cover, that blurb, and the inside, I mean, it's well formatted. Uh, let's see, does he... Written in British English, he's, he's noted that. Uh, has he credited an editor anywhere? Because that's always a good sign too. There's no way that this guy is a first-time author and or isn't working with an editor. It looks pretty good for uh, self-published. Book two is coming July, August as well. Okay. I don't want to investigate anymore because I don't want to get any spoilers or anything like that. I've actually been sent this for review uh, and I am being paid full disclosure. And uh, through a weird kind of roundabout way, somebody somebody was looking on Upwork, which is a site I use. So um, I just, I don't know, I, I thought it sounded like a, an, interesting, uh, an interesting one to take. So uh, yeah, I just charge him for an hour of my time and I get the book. And then, yeah, I'll write a review on my blog and possibly do a, a booktube review. We'll see. Uh, that's, like, not part of the agreement or anything. So if I do, it'll just be because. Uh, I probably will do because I'm just trying to review everything I read at the moment. And, again, my review of this will be honest. Um, I mean, first impressions are good, though, as I say. But my, my review of it will be honest. Um, but, yeah, I, I don't know. I, I've been trying to do reviews of pretty much everything that I read. So it's only when there's... <laughs> <laughs> when, if, if I don't review a book, it means there's nothing to say about it, which is probably worse than getting a review, you know? So we'll see. Hello! I have a couple of books that I got given Ooh, for my birthday. So the first of these is Romeo et Juliette by William Shakespeare. Uh, this is the French language edition of Ro Romeo and Juliet, and it's also got like a study guide at the end. So for example here, uh, Romeo et Juliette, une tragédie. Le mélange des genres caracter caractérise la pièce. And then here we have Life After Dane by Edward Lorne, which is a very solid pick because he is obviously uh, a booktube legend. And I've been trying to get this for a while. I think I've ordered it like twice and I have various problems with Amazon. My card doesn't work on it and stuff. So it never actually came. So I'm glad that I finally have this now and can finally read it. Dope a rope. All right, Biggie, we're going to start with a haul, aren't we? Just poster just went off over there. I'm making me lunch. So, Biggie. It's not for you. Is it? It's not for you. So, here we have Goosebumps Monster Blood 4. And, uh, yeah, this is one that is pretty rare because it's the last book in the Goosebumps series. So, it's worth a few quid. So, I buy it when it's nice and cheap. And, uh, yeah, Monster Blood 4. Biggie, you're being incredibly difficult to work with here, aren't you? Okay, no, because if you sit on that... Ah. Right, well, yes, this could be interesting. So, I had three main parcels coming in the post today. Well, let's start with the non-main ones. So I also got um, two copies of Monst Monster Blood 4 by uh, R.L. Stein. So basically this is the last book in the Goosebumps series. And um, for whatever reason, these are um, like super rare. I think maybe they were only published in one edition. Um, so yeah, like they're all first editions from what I understand. Uh, and so obviously people who want to collect the full series 
they want to get monster blood so um yeah i buy it to resell basically so i now have three copies of these and then um i got some bundles so i guess how are we gonna do this we'll start with the ones these are all books that i have read that i'm just gonna sell on and uh, all of these will be on my ebay store as well so i will link to that below so um, these are all ones that I've already read, or in this case, actually, this is F. Scott Fitzgerald, The Diamond as Big as the Ritz, and other stories. I just ended up with two editions of that. And then that's going to bring us on to the Agatha Christie bundle that I uh, won. Now, I have actually read all of these books, but I'm basically buying bulk sets of Agatha Christie where I can. Um, again, because you can resell them and they're worth a few quid. Uh, but also, by doing that, I'll eventually manage to pick up all the remaining Agatha Christie books I don't own as well. So I've got this little lot I got. By the Pricking of My Thumbs. Passenger to Frankfurt. Poirot's Early Cases. Sleeping Murder. Poirot's Last Case. Series of Hardback of Poston of Fate. We have Miss Marple's Final Cases, Halloween Party, Nemesis, Elephants Can Remember, The Golden Ball and Other Stories, and While the Light Lasts. So those are all of the Christies there. So that brings us on to the Horrible Histories. So again, these ones here are all, uh, all ones that I've read. Um, I got these like super cheap because the guy accidentally didn't spell histories right in the title. Anyway, we've got, uh, these are all by Terry Deary. We have The Blitzed Brits, The Angry Aztecs, The Groovy Greeks, The Gorgeous Georgians and The Vile Victorians in this hardback here. The Terrible Tudors and the Slimy Stuarts. The Frightful First World War. The Balmy British Empire. The Vicious Vikings, which is actually my favourite. And then, and then over here, we have the remaining Horrible Histories ones that I haven't read. So we have Ireland. Uh, Dark Knights and Dingy Castles. And Rotten Rulers. So, very excited to be reading these. And then that just leaves us with the uh, F. Scott Fitzgerald books that I haven't read. Um, so I also got this side of paradise, the beautiful and damned, uh, the crack up, oh what, the crack up with other pieces and stories, uh, Bernice bobs her hair and other stories, uh, the last tycoon, and here we have the diamond as big as the Ritz and other stories, so super excited to crack on with all of these. So that is where we're at. All right, guys, I have some books to haul today. So I've got a bunch of stuff in the post. I got some Agatha Christie books, I got some Ladybird books, and then I got a couple of poetry books for review as well. So I'm gonna start with the books that I do plan to read. I guess we'll start with the two Agatha Christie books. Uh, they're not ones that, um, they're not ones that I've read before, which is obviously why I'm picking them up. First one is The Mysterious Affair at Styles, and this is actually the first Hercule Poirot book, so I kind of can't believe I haven't read it yet. So looking forward to getting to that. And the other one is The Hollow. So both of those unread as, as of yet, but I'm looking forward to getting to them. Then we have these two poetry books. These were sent to me by Isabel Kenyon of Pl uh, Fly on the Wall Press. Been really impressed by some of the stuff that they've put out before. So I believe this one here, this, this one, uh, Self Portrait by Elizabeth Horan. So this is by uh, Cephalo Press. And I'm guessing that this is um, one of Isabel's freelance clients. I can't remember the setup she has, to be honest. Uh, and then I have House of Weeds, poetry by Amy Charlotte Keane, illustrated by Jack Wallington. Looking forward to getting to it. All right, so some more haul. We're now on to the Ladybird books that I'm going to read. So here we have Masters of the Universe, He-Man Meets the Beast. Bedtime Rhymes, a collection of traditional rhymes and lullabies. Dennis the Menace, a splashing time. He-Man and the Last Dragon, no sorry, He-Man and the Lost Dragon. Peter Pan, Return to Neverland. And Treasure Island. 
So we've got those. And then that, that brings us onto this pile of stuff I'm going to resell. So we'll start with another copy of Monster Blood 4. And I've realised something. The re Basically I was misled because of where the date is imported from eBay to Royal Mail. So eBay shows me how much I get paid, Royal Mail shows how much the person paid, and the person had paid for international shipping. So I did sell it for like $7.99, but I thought it was $17.99, and it's because they then paid eBay an extra £10 to ship it. Um, and it never arrived as well, and they sent me this really aggy message. And uh, I looked into it, and eBay have lost the package. So what they have to do now, they have to file a, uh, an unreceived item report, and then eBay will decide in my favour and uh, it will refund the buyer, but it won't take the money from me. Anyway, here are the Agatha Christie books I've already read and that I'm going to sell on. Some of them are a bit battered. So we have The Murder on the Links. We have They Do It With Mirrors. And we have Why Didn't They Ask Evans. By the way, I've won a bid today, I've won an auction today to buy 55 of these bad boys. Which should hopefully nearly complete my Christie collection. I think I have 20 unread. Uh, and that brings us to the rest of these ladybirds. So these are all the ones uh, that I'm going to sell on for a variety of reasons. Either the subject matter doesn't appeal to me. Or for example, there's a ladybird version of Kidnap down here. And I'm going to read Kidnap soon. So with uh, Treasure Island, I've already read Treasure Island. So I'm quite keen. You know, I'd, I'd, I'd be up for reading a retelling of it or whatever. A, a bridge version for kids. So yeah, the lady, ladybirds we have. Heidi. Dude, I didn't actually realise that that's what this is. This is awesome. This is definitely going on my list. Paul McCartney's Rupert and the Frog Song. Cool. Uh, the Wind in the Willows. Story time for four-year-olds. Story time for three-year-olds. First picture book for baby. Mr. Badger to the rescue. Her Royal Highness, the Princess of Wales. Fire... Fireman Fergus Kidnapped The Hunchback of Notre Dame Diana, Princess of Wales Dinosaur Stories for Five Year Olds And Little Red Tractor Gold Cup Sweet Alright, that was quite frankly excellent timing Because just as I was filming this There was a knock at the door and my postman showed up with some posts for me. And it's perfect timing because I'm just about to go to my hometown of, in the Midlands as well. Alright, what do we got here? Now we're going to need a screwdriver. <laughs> Alright, this is my large box of ladybirds. God, that's a lot. So I don't know how much this was. I think this was about 28 quid or something. And it's a literally a big box full of Ladybird books. Um, and like I've been looking online and listing some of the ones that I've already bought. And some of them are like three quid each or something. So we'll go through. And as I go through and list these with you, I'm going to sort them into piles of the ones I want to read and the ones I don't want to read. So TikTok first picture word book. Don't want to read. Ladybird spelling and grammar. Obviously do want to read. First 500 words. Uh, probably won't read. Snuggle down ducklings. Won't read. Baby's first teddies and toys. Won't read. Again, the ones I, I will uh, resell them all on eBay. Uh, lion stories number four for four year olds. Duck stories number two for two year olds. Crocodile Stories, number three, for three-year-olds. Ladybird Shapes. Learner's Ecology, yeah, I'll definitely read that one, that sounds good. Uh, Humpty Dumpty and Other Nursery Rhymes. Hey Diddle Diddle and Other Nursery Rhymes. Grandma Hippo's Visit. These are all non-keepers, I'll just tell you if I'm going to keep them. Baby's First Cars and Trucks. Young Discovery, Dinosaur Lives, yes, I will definitely be reading that one. Uh, Young Discovery Sea Animals. Yep, yeah, I'll give that one a read. Good Night Little Bunny. Roaring Rory. 
bedtime rhymes. I've actually just read this one, funny enough. Uh, Raymond Briggs' Father Christmas. I have read this one too. Used to be a favourite when I was a kid. Jokes, jokes, jokes. Yeah, I'll read this one. I like a good joke, a good, a good pun, a good play on words. Don't know, Biggs. How's your fluff doing down here? We got rid of some of the bits, but it's still quite tangled, isn't it? Just those little bits there, we can't get them done. Bit hard, aren't they? Uh, we have keywords with Peter and Jane. A story to share. My spider dad. Let's look at people at work. Here comes dad. What's a dad? Good night, little bunny. Incy wincy spider and other nursery rhymes. Say the sounds, phonic reading scheme, the go-kart race. First skills with ladybird, telling the time. Counting. I like farm animals. They've heard dinosaurs. Is this the same as the other dinosaurs one? No, this is a different one, so I will read this one too. Busy tractor. Spine tinglers. This looks pretty cool. The yellow book of bedtime stories. Uh, nah. Jack and Jill, another nursery rhymes. The amazing Spider-Man saves New York. I'm not really into Spider-Man, to be honest. I like to read The Picnic. Story time for one year olds. Yeah, okay, that is what that is. Too busy to play. Colours. First picture dictionary. Scooby Doo Haunted Ski Lodge. Two mice in a boat. Angelina Ballerina. And ABC. So, Jesus Christ, that is a hell of a lot of ladybird books. And now I need to photograph all of these for their listings. Hi, Mother. Yeah. Yep, just doing some video in, in my uh, haul update. So, I have some books from my Uncle Carl here. Hang on, let's see. Yeah. I thought I'd do it in the garden. All right, well, we'll start with these. These are some of my old books that I left here last time I visited because there wasn't enough space in my rook case, uh, but uh, there wasn't enough case, space in my case. So I'm gonna take these back with me and chuck them on eBay. So we have Running a Bar for Dummies by Ray Foley and Heather Dismore. Uh, I got this because I was gonna work at the art center, running the bar, and then that didn't happen. But now I am kind of working there and events might be coming back now. But hopefully they won't get me to run the bar because I don't want to do that. So. And here we have Malcolm Gladwell, David and Goliath. I started reading it, it was just incredibly dull, to be honest, um, and not particularly well written. So I have read Gladwell in the past, I read Glink, uh, Blink and I thought that was quite good, but this one just, I was forcing myself to read it and I've decided it's not worth it, I don't want to. Then we have Cuckoo Song by Francis Hardinge, which I was reading at the time, it was when we went, me and my mum went on our little weekend breakaway. And uh, this was the book I was reading at the time, and again, I finished it while I was away, so I let my mum bring it back here, so I could take it home with me. Technically, I've hauled that book twice, I guess. And then we have this little Agatha Christie lot from my uncle. So we have Agatha Christie, um, a biography by Janet Morgan. We also have Agatha Christie, an English mystery by Laura Thompson. She's this big old hardback. And then we got these facsimile editions. So we've got Poirot Investigates by Agatha Christie and The Murder on the Links. Uh, I have a few of these facsimile, di facsimile editions already, funnily enough. Um, but I don't know, because I'm not too worried about building up a huge collection, so I'm probably gonna sell those ones on. Um, I am gonna read this one, The Mysterious Affair of Styles by Agatha Christie. I actually got a different edition of this a couple days ago. Um, just with a, like a, a thing I bought on eBay. But this is a nicer edition, so I'm gonna read this edition of it. And then we have The Secret of Chimneys by Agatha Christie. And The Man in the Brown Suit, and these are two that I haven't read. Although I have somehow, and possibly ironically, got brown sauce on The Man in the Brown Suit. I have to try and mop that off. So there, that's where we're at. 
All right, I've had some more goodies in the post. I've had books by two different sets of writers. So we'll start with the Agatha Christie. Well, we'll start with the one that isn't even Agatha Christie, which is, uh, where is it? This is it. Agatha, the Agatha Christie mystery, a novel by Kathleen Tynan. And I believe this is set uh, when Agatha Christie went missing. So it kind of aims to address like what happened during these few days when she went missing. Uh, I probably won't read it though, so that one will... In fact, I'm, I've already read all of these, so these are all getting sold on, I think. Um, there's one or two I have to check, but I'm pretty sure I have. So we have Agatha Christie, The Body in the Library. Death Comes as the End. A Pocket Full of Rye. Evil Under the Sun. Dumb Witness. At Bertram's Hotel. And Problem at Palenza Bay and other stories. So these will all be going on my eBay store. Um, I can't remember how much I spent on those. I think six or seven pounds or something for the lot of those. Um, and the same again with these Isaac Asimov here. But um, most of these I'm going to read. Apart from this one here. This is Isaac Asimov, The Science Fictional Solar System. I happen to already have this one. And that makes me laugh because there are so many Asimov books. So the odds of me getting the same one twice... Uh, so quickly from just random job lots, quite slim I thought, but... And then we have uh, Isaac Asimov, the Hugo winners, 1968 to 1970. We have Asimov's Extraterrestrials. We have Tomorrow's Children. And we have Where Do We Go From Here? So I'm excited to read those. Hello, I have a large number of Agatha Christie books to haul for you today because I went a little bit... Well, I didn't go mad. I just bought a... I think I paid about 58, 60 pounds, including postage for about 55 Agatha Christie books. Uh, most of which I'm going to then sell on, although there are a few I haven't read. So I'm going to show you all the books I got. So uh, we have The Body in the Library. Partners in Crime, this one's a Tommy and Tuppence. Peril End House, one of her more famous ones. Dead Man's Folly. Really enjoy this one, actually. It's one of my favourites of hers. And uh, there's a video game based on this as well. Murder is Easy. In this old Fontana Books edition. Passenger to Frankfurt. Hickory Dickory Dock. I can't actually say this one out loud. Um, ten little... Uh, it's what eventually became known as And Then There Were None. So obviously this is an early printing of it. Um... Yes. Product of its times. Poston of Fate. The fact that it does have the racist uh, title for that one might actually make it worth more, weirdly. The Pale Horse. Parker Pine Investigates. Hercule Poirot's Christmas. The Labours of Hercules, which for some reason has green pages and it feels as though it is about, it is definitely falling apart. Murder on the Orient Express. A Caribbean Mystery. Three Act Tragedy. After the Funeral. Destination Unknown. Here we have Nemesis. Death on the Nile. The Murder on the Links. The Big Four. By the pricking of my thumbs. Uh, here we have Agatha, the Agatha Christie mystery by Kathleen Tynan. It's weird that I got this with the other Agatha Christie bundle too, even though it's not Agatha Christie. Cat Among the Pigeons. Murder in the Muse. Elephants Can Remember. Mrs. McGinty's Dead, Crooked House, The Thirteen Problems, A Pocket Full of Rye, Ordeal by Innocence, The Seven Dials Mystery, The Murder of Roger Ackroyd. Four fifty from Paddington. 
The Secret of Chimneys, The Hound of Death, Lord Edgware Dies, Sad Cypress, The Mystery of the Blue Train, Towards Zero, Death in the Clouds, The Man in the Brown Suit, A Caribbean Mystery, Taken at the Flood, Appointment with Death, at Bertram's Hotel, most ridiculous ending of an Agatha Christie novel ever. The ABC Murders. Well, this says Agatha Christie Murder at the Gallop. MGM's hilarious new thriller based on Agatha Christie's After the Funeral. Oh, so it is. It's just After the Funeral, but with a movie cover. That's really strange. Okay. So After the Funeral. Poirot Investigates. Curtain, Poirot's last case. The Mysterious Affair at Styles, The Clocks, The Moving Finger, and Death Comes as the End. And for whatever reason, this person also gave me this, The Pied Piper of Hamelin by Robert Browning, illustrated by Kate Green, I guess, the missing part of the cover. I don't know why they sent this with the Agatha Christie. I think maybe just to protect it, I don't know. But hey ho, there's that as well. So out of all of those Agatha Christie books, these are the ones that I haven't read out of it. Uh, the Seven Dials Mystery, Towards Zero, The Big Four, The Body in the Library, Sad Cypress, Taken at the Flood, and The Clocks. So those are all gonna go on my TBR now. So that's seven there. All right, nothing new in the post today, which is probably a good thing because I'm drowning in books here. So uh, that's about it for this week's, uh, this month haul. So as always, thanks a lot for watching. Don't forget to hit that like button if you enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments if you've read any of these books and if so, what you thought of them. Obviously, uh, my eBay store will be linked below. So I'll be selling on a lot of these things individually if there's anything in particular that you saw that took your, took your fancy. Uh, as I say, hit subscribe for more and I'll see you soon for another bookish video. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.